while I'm working on a couple other larger games right now, I decided to put out a couple short reviews of some mini games within PlayStation Home for your PlayStation 3. These games are free, at least the several that I'm reviewing right now. This one is Saucer Pop, where you uh, get to run up to the pond in the middle of this, uh, of, of whatever, the central courtyard, and um, I was a little disappointed when I realized I couldn't, say, punch people and throw them in the pond, and you're probably thinking, classic game room, you know, you're not going to give a, a, you know, a really objective review of this game. You're probably going to just screw around and talk about how you'd like to fly these saucers around and attack people. Well, that's exactly what I want to do. You're confined to the area over the pond to play Saucer Pop, which isn't a bad game, but it would be a lot more fun if you could attack people with these flying saucers. For one thing, the edges look sharp and they're rotating, so I'm thinking immediately decapitating other people's avatars. Or, you, or there could be the option of shooting ray beams down at people, uh, say hovering over them and then incinerating them from above when they're not even expecting it. But as it is in Saucer Pop, all you really do is fly around and collect these stars and try to avoid the, the hovering mines and uh, there's those things that look like little air canisters. They give you more fuel. And, um, well, it's hard to be serious, but you know what? It's actually not that bad. It's kind of fun. It's free. I wouldn't really pay anything for it. This is hardly the reason to run out and buy a PlayStation 3. There's other reasons to do that, like Killzone 2 and, you know, a lot of the other games. But this game is just kind of neat. I, I like I like the uh, element and addition of some of these mini games and these little free things that you can run around and, and play. And the thing is... This is unexpected. I actually wasn't expecting a real game by the pond. It's like when you go to an amusement park and they have the little remote control boats. Uh, I always like those. But I, I also have the same problem that you can never get them out of the water and attack people with them. These are the things I think about when I go to the amusement park. What they should do with these mini games and any of the trophies that you win in the PlayStation games is give you some kind of credit for them. Like if you reach a certain score, you can then take that score and buy like a Dig Dug arcade machine for your apartment. There's, there's just so much potential with PlayStation Home that has not yet been realized. Now it's in a beta form and I always date these home reviews because I, I imagine that Sony is going to come along and update this frequently. So this is March 2009. Now when you run out of fuel, your little saucer thing explodes, and then you're free to run around and, and um, do whatever else you can do at home. Personally, I'd recommend running right into the bowling alley and playing Echo Chrome, which is a pretty cool game. Thank <laughs> you.